Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young queen and a handsome young king. They were kind, funny, and mischievous. All the qualities that make a couple happy. Well, they were happy, but they were happy at first. The queen would sing, and the king would take her in his arms, and they would dance. They were happy until they found out they could not have a child. They tried everything, but nothing worked. So instead of being kind, funny, and mischievous, they fought. A lot. You stand too close. You speak too loudly. For a queen, your breath is most unpleasant. Your feet are gross. Your penmanship is lousy. For a king, you have the posture of a peasant. I never knew our love life could go so royally stale. This is quite annoying. A fairy tale. You disappeared last night. I was cold in the bed. I wrapped myself in a blanket and I cried in the moonlight. That's what you do when you're sad about not having a child. You were supposed to comfort me. You could have left me the blanket. The king and queen were very rich. But to be without a child was nothing short of tragic. The doctors ran tests, but tests could not solve the problem. They came to us. We offered them many brilliant solutions. But none of them worked. King had one last idea. I know she's mean, but let's go see the witch. You mean my sister. That's the one. She could use her magic. My sister is trouble. <laughs> I have newt and rooster spleen. I should have been the queen. Heart of duck. And monkey bone, they stole my royal throne. But every scheme to win it back has been an epic fail. This is quite annoying for a fairy tale. Many years ago, the king fell in love with the queen and not the witch. Wouldn't you fall in love with the queen and not the witch? I can give you a baby. But there will be a price. There always is. What kind of price? It doesn't matter. You haven't changed at all. Neither have you. Yeah, I'm still alone. And whose fault is that? I told you we shouldn't have come. You took my crown, my throne, and my king. Please stop. We just want a baby. Drink this. But remember, there will be a price. No one ever listens to this part. Ugh. They went home, and the next morning, there was a baby! She has my nose. She has my noble chin. Princes far and wide will want to date her. And as she grows, she'll have my noble grin. But we can hope that her teeth are straighter. She's very light. She's brand new. I can't really feel her in my arms. The king was right. The princess was very light. Your majesty, I believe if I let her go, she will float away. Don't be ridiculous. Mothers are the best at denial. As an experiment, I will let her go. Don't! <laughs> the child floats. But how? Close all the windows now. Most babies cry. She's floating, floating! My baby, my baby! Get her down! I say someone get her down! And that was the day that the kingdom learned that the princess had been cursed. The witch was summoned immediately to see if it could be reversed. I told you there would be a price. What can we do? The princess must find her gravity by the time she turns 16, or else I become queen, and the curse is permanent. Permanent? <sighs> She's always fainting. Leopard's fur and camel's fur, oh, why did you choose her? Ear of horse and rib of flea, you should have chosen me. But soon the wrongs will be righted And you'll wipe away my tears I will be a queen In 
sixteen years, Kavanish! The witch had removed the princess's gravity, both physical and emotional. Without physical gravity, the princess couldn't stay on the ground. And without emotional gravity, she couldn't experience any weighty feelings. She couldn't feel fear, sadness, or love. If the princess didn't find her gravity by the time she turned 16, she would be weightless forever. However, the witch didn't mention that if the princess did find her gravity, the witch would lose all her powers forever. You can see why she left that part out. She would stop being a witch. She would just be a sister. So the witch laid waiting for many a year, patient despite her depravity. For how could a child who couldn't feel fear or sadness or love ever find, find her, her gravity? gravity? As you can imagine, the weightless princess had a most peculiar childhood. She had a crib, more like a cage. Well, it had to have a lid so she wouldn't fly out. She loves too years. often for a child of her age. I've never seen a toddler who refused to cry out. Many She's years. growing up. She's very bright, and much too far, but far too light. She doesn't act like a child or two. A royal throne. She's rather sweet. Will surely last in as long as we find her gravity. We've got to. Six years. The girl so gravity to a kite. We're going to teach her about astronomy and weather. We've often told her that she needs to act much older. But she remains as light as a feather. One year. We have to find her gravity or darkness will prevail. One week! This is quite 